I have the joyous task of sorting all these socks, but somebody's made herself very comfortable. Good morning everybody, it's actually Sunday right now, um, I decided that I'm going to do some work today because my friend is coming to stay for a couple of days on Monday to Wednesday so I'm not sure how much work I get done because obviously I want to spend time with her and do some stuff around my hometown and things so I'm going to work today hopefully have enough footage and new stuff to show you guys by Wednesday. If you're watching this on Wednesday, this isn't going to be a week's worth of work, it's going to be a few days, so don't be like, what? She hasn't done very much work. So I'm trying to uh, get through it quite quickly. Um, not through it quite quickly, that sounds bad. I'm trying to get some, a big chunk of work to show you. Okay. Ooh, my voice always sounds so weird in the morning. And I sound really like meh, down and just really negative, even though I'm not being negative, you know what I mean? I just sound really like meh. That's not a word. I just sound really lethargic. I tend to do this thing where I trail off my sentences with just random noises and people have pointed it out to me more than one occasion. I'm just, I can't help it. Sometimes I just want to just cram myself with noises. Um, so if you haven't been watching my past vlogs. I realised I never do a kind of previously on the average. Um, <laughs> if you haven't been watching my past vlogs, I'm doing a horror comic and basically each week I'm just doing a sort of rundown on where I'm at at the process because originally I gave myself a month to work on this horror comic but I think it's going to be more like six weeks which is fine because it was more like giving myself a deadline to reach for and it stretched further but I'm doing the work so it's fine in my own mind like obviously if I was working with a client or something I would never do that but it's my personal project so I can I can extend the deadline if I want. I'm sorry about the cars, the windows open and stuff. Um, as you know these kind of vlogs are very chilled so you're just gonna have to forgive any random noises. Everyone's heading to the beach I believe um, Sunday. I don't know what I was saying before now. Yeah I'm um, just showing you some concept stuff that I've done in the past vlog. So if you haven't seen those vlogs, then go check those out first. If you're interested, they're kind of just chatty long vlogs that you can draw along to and listen to me beak absolute garbage for 20 minutes. Yeah, these are the thumbnails and these are the bigger thumbnails. These are more like panel thumbnails, if that makes sense. So I would get a sense of the flow of the comic with doing the panels and they help me work out each page, how each page would look as a whole and then the thumbnails I did, I took those panels and I did quick thumbnails of those things. Yeah, and then I did some sort of colour keys but with the tracing paper and they weren't really working out. Obviously I want to do more colour keys, I wasn't very really clear about that. I said before that these, this was wasting my time but I meant the way that I was doing it. Obviously I want to do some colour stuff. Although I'm kind of thinking now that maybe I'll do everything in black and white but that would be kind of a shame or just like a really limited colour palette. Or maybe the colour could sort of drain towards the end, I'm not sure. Now I'm just working on layouts of pages. I'm going to scan this, blow it up in Photoshop to be A4, and then I can have like this rough workings that I can go over the top of with um, a light box so I can draw over the top and see how it looks. This is going to give me an idea of how everything is going to work together anyway. So working through these pages, it helps me establish how quickly I read it as a reader. So how long my eyes linger on each panel. So I get a sense of the pacing and how the story flows. I'm, I always go on about this, but I think it's very important. And everybody, a lot of people helped me out with this panel. It was really good, but one person in particular on Instagram sent me a message saying, oh, you should have her just like opening the door and looking inward towards us and you can see that she's seeing inside the lighthouse which was perfect and everybody else had really good ideas like would have all worked very well but I think I just um I heard that one and I was like yeah actually no I can see that because my intention with this page is that we are very connected with her and because she is more the focus than the lighthouse we sort of um, we're sort of connecting with her a bit more I'm that's my intention anyway I'm not sure if that 
is how it feels. So yeah, we just get a sense. I wrote down all the dialogue and as I was writing the dialogue, I've sort of been messing with it because I think like, oh, this would look nicer and sound nicer and the way that the guy would speak, I think he would use in proper English in certain areas maybe. I don't know. Sorry about the cars. Everybody's going to the beach except me. <laughs> I don't want to go to the beach anyway. Um, yeah, just trying to personalise the dialogue a little bit more. I've realised as well, as I'm drawing this, that I've made the man quite small. And sometimes men can be small, but I think I do that a lot. I, I'm used to drawing women a lot more than men, so I always make them quite small compared to her. I need to, like, give some different proportions to my characters for more visual interest. And I'm not sure where I left you guys. I think it was this page. But basically now I've added two more pages. I know, I know, I said I would not keep adding pages but it was super necessary because as I'm doing it and as I'm reading it I realise that it's just so sudden some of the things that happen and it's just, it doesn't work. So I needed to add like a little bit of pacing. Here I've, I haven't done this finalised but I've broken this page up into two different pages and I put this here so it's a bit of a story going on with her talking to whoever she's talking to on the phone. And then I put the lighthouse is in Stormy Seas at night. So you assume that that's like the end of that day. Then this day, it starts with this page and I've put six small um, panels here closed up and they're all gonna be sort of action um, type panels. Do I mean action or like, uh, where's my Scott McCloud book? Anyway, um, he spoke about this, like different types of panels. You have action to action where the character is moving and then you have sort of um, panels that give vibes of the, and mood to the scene. So I'm gonna do different objects around the house and then this object is gonna be quite creepy. Can't really see it. For I would have just different things like the boxes that she's moving in, books, the television, like the, this old television that she has in this lighthouse and then uh, the curtains but then a creepy like shadow just lingering in the curtains or something that you might not necessarily see straight off the bat kind of thing. You might have to take a double take to see that. Then I put that panel, those panels down here so it kind of gives a little bit of breathing room between this to this where this is kind of where the action starts happening with creepy stuff i mean this what she's saying here is sort of creepy but it's more creepy in the sense that she's unnerved rather than we are unnerved i did that and then i think i showed you guys this page and then i realized that i wanted to change it slightly because there wasn't just enough movement in it it was kind of like oh she sees these two figures and she's sort of like oh should i call the police she looks very passive there so i needed to change her body language to be a bit oh my god there's people there obviously i don't want to show you too much of the story so i'll just show you quickly some stuff and you can pause it if you want to spoil it for yourself by all means but um i prefer it if you didn't spoil it because in case you want to read it later i was doing different tests here of the ink on tracing paper. So this is a Pentel brush pen. And then this is sort of a Zig Magna, Magna Cooker pen. This is this one. So it's more like a, it is a sort of brush pen, but it's more fine tip, more control. I like the way that this one turned out because even though it's quite, it's a lot harder to draw with it and to get a steady line, I kind of like that wobbly line and thick and thin areas of not necessarily where it might be thick and thin because it just it works with this genre that I'm trying I'm not sure um yeah so I just did I did these because this was going to be this was another page that I added because again pacing guys and I did it and then I did these pencils to work on this because this was so rough that I was like okay I've never done a thumbnail of this so this is sort of my thumbnail and then this is the rough layout and what I did was I took pictures of myself again to help me find like the emotions that I wanted to portray her doing. I took pictures of myself on my phone and then I just referenced them and I think it came out really nice so I'm going to try and do that a lot more. So these are just more rough pages Oops. and I don't want to spoil anything so I'm just going to flick through these quickly. So you see that I'm working on a lot of rough stuff and now I went back, I kind of paused working on rough pages to work on the style a little bit more because as I'm doing the rough layouts I realised that the style I'm doing I want to change it up a bit. As you go you sort of get realisations of what you want it to be. With the ink pen that I tried on the tracing paper I really like the way that it looks with, let me move this for you. 
with colour pencils and stuff in a limited colour palette and very dark. And then I did this one which is like her kind of melting away. No um, context to the story, it was just a fun doodle. But I really like the way it looked, the smudginess of it. I want to put that into my work a little bit and I was working on... This is from the rough pages, so it's still kind of rough, but I was working on using that style of just not very clear line, just messy, and, and I think it works. I think it looks quite nice. Could be wrong. And once I add like different colors and maybe detailed backgrounds here and there, it could really work. So in some, in some cases it might be quite messy and not very readable, but in other cases it might be like, oh, very clear, clear style. So here, Again, just trying that kind of idea. I think these two panels were very messy. They don't look as good as these two, which I realized I needed to be a little bit clearer for clarity's sake so people could actually read what was happening. Yeah, I kind of like it. And then I redid this frame of when she sees the shadows. So just drop the trace of paper. When she sees the shadows on rock. But I was just trying to see what it would look like with color. And I think it works better just black, a little bit black and white here and there like very muted color tones. That's where I'm at. I think it's a good chunk of work. At least I hope it's a good chunk of work because Friday I edited that video that you saw last about my shark mask, which, you know, doesn't get very much of a response, but I really like making videos like that because it's just me having fun and I like editing them. And you guys prefer these vlogs, which I preferred making, like I prefer making the content for, but I like editing um, that kind of style of video. And you gotta be a bit silly sometimes, especially when you're doing a horror comic, which is very intense and you just constantly like, ugh. And also, I realized that I'm getting a bit attached to this character because before I was like, whatever, you know, whatever happens to her, happens to her. These bad things that might happen to her in this story, it's just, you know, it's a story, I'm telling it. But now I'm like, is there a way that I can make it not so bad for her? It's just a bit silly, because I'm like, this is a horror comic. You can't just be soft on your characters. You have to be mean. You have to be that George R. 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 George R. George R. R. Martin kind of mean, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna draw now. I'm not really sure what I'm working on. I think I need to just keep going with the rough, rough layouts and then work on style a little bit more. I need to glue this down. What page was I on? I wrote page nine here to do the, the layout and then I just didn't. These all kind of look like a different person, which is annoying, but my intention was to have her being brave and then sort of being like, nope, not brave, I'm scared. You know, when you try and fight being scared and you're like, no, it's not real. But when you watch a scary film, you're just like, it's just a scary film, I'm not scared. And then you, you get scared again. Um, ouch, my pen fell. Page nine. I love like just rambling on, I'm so sorry. <laughs> just really irrelevant shit. And by shit, I mean poop because I don't want to swear because people don't like swears. Um, page nine. Oh yeah, this one is very sudden as well from the last page. So now I'm a bit, I wanted to add that in of her transitioning her face from I'm brave to I'm scared. I recently, we saw Jurassic Park, is it Jurassic Park, Jurassic World yesterday, the new one. And there were a lot of, um, I don't want to spoil anything, no spoilers guys, but there were a lot of sad moments in that movie and I was just like, this is not what I came here for. I came here for mean monsters uh, munching on people, you know what I mean? Like, no. I really liked it though, I think, I thought it was a lot better than, not the originals, but the first movie they made of this kind of universe. I really liked it. It was good. I'm gonna do this again, where she has the free faces changing. So she's gonna be like all, I'm brave, hmm, screw you. And then be like instantly, nope, I'm scared. Which is something that you don't actually see very often, I think in horror films, like people realizing that they're in a bit of a shit situation. And your first thought is always like, okay, if you're scared, then get in the car and leave. But normal people, you wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? You wouldn't, if you were in your house, and unless something was, if unless you knew you were for sure in immediate danger, you wouldn't leave your house, you'd be like, no, I'm just being silly. So I really want to convey that in this. Very much telling herself, no, I'm just being stupid, there's nothing here, you know, there's no ghosts here or whatever. And um, yeah, I want to convey that because I think that's a frustration of mine in horror films because you know when someone's in immediate danger and they're just like, okay, 
time for bed and you're like no get in the car leave the city drive all night it doesn't matter just go and you know probably there's more to the situation they probably don't have anywhere to go etc but still i would prefer that over immediate mass murdering um guy in my cupboard or whatever danger <laughs> I don't know what I keep looking at here. I don't think this is the right thumbnails. Where's my thumbnails? My scan. Okay, I'll be right back. I have to find where that went. Okay, fail because um, I had to rescan this because I couldn't find my thumbnails. I did some cleaning on Friday, so I thought, I think maybe I, I dropped it and I just threw it away. I'm not sure. I mean, it doesn't. I don't think I would have done that, but maybe I just lost it. I'm gonna work on the thumbnails. And by the way, what I was saying before about the five different types of panels. So there's moment to moment, and then there's action to action, subject to subject, scene to scene, aspect to aspect, and non sequitur. And aspect to aspect is different transitions for um, idea or mood to one another. So that's what I was talking about before when I said I added those little six panels. Obviously, I'm still trying to learn <laughs> these because as I was even explaining that, I think I got a muddled a little bit between a couple of them. But I think if you think of panels in the sense of this kind of vibe, it, it helps. And it really helps to discover pacing and things like that. This this book is my Bible, basically. Um, reread, I reread a lot of it on Tuesday. I realised that even though I've already read it, it actually had a lot of useful things for me to to rediscover um, or reread about basically and reaffirm it in my in my mind. So that was really useful. Page nine. We're getting there because these are the final pages. So we're getting there, guys. We're getting to the final layouts, which is good. One of you guys was saying that I should probably sit on it a little while because. In the book universe, I know that if you write something, you should, well, this is what Stephen King says to you anyway, you should um, write it out, write the story, and then put it away for like a few months and then come back to it with fresh eyes. But obviously this is kind of a self-imposed project where I want to have something completed. And it's more, it's more for me to know that I can complete something um, like this, like a small project, because with my slice of life comic that I do, obviously it's just ongoing and there's no finish line so it's quite easy to just get on with that. With um, previous projects, I've let them go as I've been saying before and I don't want to do that again. It sucks and because you just you just lose like all your confidence. You think, oh, I can't, I can't finish stuff. What's the point of me even trying to work on something different? You know what I mean? You get really, you get this idea that in your head that you can't finish anything. So you, you think, no, I'm, I can't, I can't make comics or I can't do stories, etc. So it's good if I finish this, which I think I will because it's already kind of, you know, it's it's coming together. So that's a really good, good thing for me because I needed it. I've been very lazy in the past, and yeah, I'd admit, I'll admit that it's been difficult sometimes other outside factors play a part i'm lucky enough that i can i i have time to spend on this project now because i am freelance whereas before when i had my full-time job as a graphic designer i would get up really early in the morning and then which i can't do i'm i'm literally like not a morning person it really messes me up because <laughs> I, I i don't know if i'm just lazy probably yes but I can't, I can't do like early, early mornings. It just, it doesn't work for me. I, ugh, I'm awful. Um, yeah, so I would get up really early for work, obviously, and then I'd do uh, the nine to six, which is a long day. And then obviously I'm doing creative stuff all day there, or I was anyway. So after that, when you come home, you really don't feel like drawing. And I felt like it, I, w I was there for a few years and I felt for like three years, I just didn't do any drawing, which really sucked. So I feel like I've lost out on those years of development a little bit which is which is crap because now i'm like not as accomplished as i would like to be in the field of drawing or comics or whatever so it's it's a bit yeah but i'm getting there you know i'm, I'm trying i'm trying to learn again and i'm trying to become a better artist it's difficult sometimes to just get on with your own stuff and not compare yourself to anybody or get bogged down with comments or other people you know what i mean like outside factors often really affect you and it's really difficult not to just be like nope don't like don't want to listen to that i'm just going to get on with what i enjoy uh, kudos to anybody who can 
work a full-time job and do lots of things like this because <laughs> you guys are inspirations. I do think YouTube adds another element to my workload though as well. If I didn't have YouTube obviously though I wouldn't be connecting with an audience the size that I am which is really good and obviously I really like talking with you guys and inspiring each other. It's really cool to have a YouTube channel it's just obviously it eats into your time a little bit with editing and stuff. Not that I mind because I, I like editing and I like working on this stuff but if I just had my comic to work on, I think I would be a bit more further along. I don't know if that's excuses. I don't, I'm not saying that I'm not quite far along because I think I'm doing quite well. Everybody works at their own pace as well, right? So yeah, I don't know why I'm saying that anyway because I, I'm pretty, sounds really um, lame, but I'm pretty proud of myself for being able to accomplish so much. I think if I didn't have YouTube as well, maybe I wouldn't be so hard on myself to try and have stuff for like each week to show you guys so i think like that is a big help a lot of people ask me like oh i want to start a youtube channel um and my response to that is like go ahead do it um it's difficult it's hard work like a lot of people underestimate how much work it is so if you if you want to start then you be prepared to just work hard and definitely have a schedule and make sure you you stick to it as much as you can i think that was something that i never really um I never really understood before, I just kind of made videos when I wanted to make them or felt like making them or had something to make and obviously that is that is helpful, um, that is a good way to work but you need a schedule because that is like apparently like the massive, a massive deal on um, <sighs> I'm super rambling on YouTube so yeah be prepared to do that if you, if you make a channel or whatever and don't expect super quick results because it doesn't and unless you're really lucky or you have amazing amazing content even if you have amazing content sometimes you don't even get like that many subscribers or whatever it's a very long process you just need to keep kind of chipping away at it because it's one of those things that you the more subscribers you have like it kind of snowballs a little bit i think i i don't know if that's true but i hope it's true um, I watched YouTube a lot before I had a channel, like I would watch a lot of different art tubers and be inspired by them and a big inspiration for me was actually Franerd because I remember watching her and being like look she's a full time illustrator and I, I really want to be that and I don't want to be in my job anymore I want to do illustration and comics again because I miss, I miss doing that and the reason like she was a big inspiration because she just chatted about it a lot in her videos. It's 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 a pr it's very strange how much like a, a, an effect a YouTuber can have on your life. Kind of rambling a lot here. I might cut out a lot of this uh, dialogue. I think I just need to do a turnaround of my character. Get on with it because that is a scary thing part for me is doing the turnarounds because it's like committing to how the character will definitely look. And I always like just when I'm doing rough stuff of establishing who the person is. I only want to do a turnaround when for sure I have in my head what she's going to look like and I still feel like I really don't. So yeah, that's the reason I haven't done a turnaround yet because to do a turnaround is to fully commit to, to the fact that this is the character and as I draw her she becomes more alive and I get to know her a little bit more so the more that I draw her the more I realise like what her mannerisms might be and expressions or, or her character design will look like. Usually when I start a project I do a lot more concepts than I have. I think that's really an, an important step. Okay well that's page nine and I'm not going to show you guys any more after this of the rough layouts because I think that spoils the ending but maybe I'll start. I'm gonna do some work tomorrow, Monday, and I'll film that as well, hopefully, so I'll, I, I can have a little bit more to show you guys. Morning, everybody. It is Monday. Hooray! <laughs> Yesterday I said that I would probably have more to show you, so I worked on some more stuff last night. It's not as much as I would want to show you guys, but um, I can't show you that much because it spoils it, so I did these style ones I think I showed you that and then I did like a full page of this style just to see what it would look like because I don't think this is necessarily going to be what happens testing out a style and I think what I want to do with the comic is as it progresses maybe make it a little bit more abstract as if she's losing her mind a little bit everything's going a bit weird so I want it to reflect it in drawings so maybe the staircase gets a little bit more twisted than it 
was and like, it becomes less readable but still readable like where she is I needed to add another page and yeah I did some more layouts and that's pretty much it and I added another page so that's like 15 <laughs> it's up to 15 17 pages now which is pretty long and I feel I honestly feel like I need to add a couple more but I read it through as it is, as what I have now. Like I said a few times to you guys that I would do. And I feel like it is pretty quick. Not that that's a bad thing because it was always intended to be a short story. But as I'm reading it through, I'm like, oh, I need to add this and this because... I've said this so many times, so I'm just repeating myself, but yeah, you guys get me. I need to just change the pacing up and it'll probably end up being about 20 pages. We'll see. Today, what I have to do is I've got a few chores to do around the house. Unfortunately, because that's just the way it goes. And then I have to edit this vlog for Wednesday. So I haven't really got as much to show you as I usually do. I hope yesterday's um, discussion and drawing was sufficient enough. But maybe I'll do I'll do like another one this week, so you'll have two 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 vlogs like this to see if maybe Friday I'll do another one because then I'll have like a lot more work. Yeah, so I'm gonna edit this vlog and then do some chores and then probably work on this stuff. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you on Friday. Bye.